Well, hi everyone, this is Bob the Science Guy, and welcome to our next video on the slide rule. Today we're going to start looking at the trigonometric functions. Specifically, we're going to have a look at the sine. Now let's go over a couple of things on paper first. Now here's an old friend of ours, a 3, 4, 5 right triangle. Uh, here is the right angle, and we have two angles up here, angle A and angle B. Now the question is, what is angle A and what is angle B? Well, let's see how to figure that out. First of all, the sine of angle B will be the opposite side, 3, over the hypotenuse, 4. And likewise, the sine of angle A will be 4 over 5. So here's angle A, the opposite side is 4, the hypotenuse is still 5. Now we can solve this a couple of different ways. We know that that equals 0 0.60, and we know that that equals 0 0.80. Now one thing that you may not know is that the sine of angle C equals 1 because it's 90 degrees. So let's go ahead and have a look at the slide rule real quick. So one way that we can figure this out is let's go out to uh, let's go out here to 3 and let's divide it by 5. Our answer is going to be 0.6. Now, we can take that 0.6, so let's normalize the slide rule again. Come out here to 0.6, and then read straight up to this S scale and see what we get. We'll go ahead and make that a little larger. So here's the S scale, and we're going to read 30, 35, 36.9. So now we have the sine of angle B. It's 36.9. Now we can repeat this procedure for angle A, but there's a better way of doing it. Remember our table functions and our proportions from earlier episodes. Let's go ahead and set that up. Now there's a relationship between the sines and the angles of a triangle, and it's called the law of sines. Now what the law of sines says is that side A over sine angle A equals side B over sine angle B equals side C over the sine of angle C. Now as you recall, angle C is 90 degrees, so that's 1. We can set up a table here. Now alternatively, we can do it the other way around as well. We can say sine A over A equals sine B over B equals sine C over C. These can be used interchangeably as convenient. We're going to go ahead and use this version of it. So let's see how we set this table up on the actual slide rule. So our longest side, our hypotenuse, is 5. So let's come out here and put the hairline directly over 5. And then we're going to put the sine of 90 degrees, because that's the hypotenuse and it's opposite the 90 degree angle, directly over it. And the sine of 90 degrees is 1. Now all we have to do is go over here to the 3, and we read the sine of, the, of angle B directly above it, which is 0.6. Likewise, we can come here to the 4 and read the sine of angle A directly above it, which is 0.8. So right now we're in a situation like this. We set the sine of 90 degrees above the length of the hypotenuse, which is 5, and as a result, the sign appears directly above the length of the leg. However, directly above that, on the sine scale, we have the angle. Now, this, when we go in this direction, we're taking the sign. When we come back up and reverse it, that's called an arc sign. And on a slide rule, that's extremely easy to do. Let me show you. Here we are at side A, which is 4. Directly above it is its sine, which is 0.8, and directly above the sine, we have the angle that corresponds to a sine of 0.8. In this case, it's 53. It's actually 53.1. Now likewise, if we come over here to the 3, we come straight up, and we come up here to the sine scale, and we read off the sine. It's 30, 35, 36, and it's roughly 36.9. So
So getting back to our triangle ABC, side C obviously is the 90 degree angle, so that's 90 degrees. Angle A is 53.1 degrees and angle B is 36.9 degrees. But what happens if we have a triangle like this? How do we figure out what the length of side C would be, the side opposite the 90 degree angle? Now that's actually a two-step process and it's a little bit more complicated, so we'll go ahead and do that on the next video. In the meantime, this is Bob the Science Guy. Make sure you give me a follow for more of this and I'll see you again soon.